I was approaching her in a professional environment, I would instantly visualize my daughter. Find my congruency in the S personality type, reach out and shake her hand with love. Because that's what an S needs. If I was to turn around and shake Marcia's hand, would you come up here so that I don't trigger that squeak? <laughs> okay, you ready? Watch your face. Didn't feel right, did it? How about this? See the smile? <laughs> S's love touch, right? You really want to hug an S. And when somebody's a real deep S, it's heart to heart. See? See the smiles are an S too. <laughs> so when I go through this portion of my class and teach people the personality types, everybody's like, well, do me, do me, what am I, what am I? I can tell by the way you walk, by the way you talk, by the way you interact with people, what you're wearing, how you shake hands, how your personality is laid out, which is why I bastardize it, to help people understand it. Because reality is, you can't grab a laptop real quick, plug in somebody's characteristics, get their disc profile, and run back up to them and shake their hand. <laughs> so your S's, your S's are gonna dress very sensibly. They're gonna look good, because they're all about color, but they're not gonna shop at Nordstrom's, or Saks, or Macy's. They're going to go to the Rack, or they're going to go to Ross, or TJ Maxx, and buy the name brands. But it's sensible shopping. Your eyes, they're only going to buy name brand. They don't care if it falls apart a week later. Your Ds, your Ds are probably going to buy the most expensive things there are, but they're going to buy quality because it makes sense. Your Cs, close your eyes, Visualize Poindexter. <laughs> That's your seat. <laughs> okay? So imagine walking up to somebody, and this works for business or personal. Now you know how to interact to them. Now you can step into their map of reality and interface in a listening that they can understand. Because you're speaking in their world now. That's a powerful tool. And there's no incongruency or manipulation in it. Um, a lot of what I'm trying to interrupt you, a lot of what you're saying, I agree, but I think you're also categorizing people for them in a certain box. No. Because of mm -hmm. the fact that when you said to doctors and like this, I smile, but there's a lot of who I am, complexity uh, ways that there's a lot of tests in me. There's a lot of other things in me that may not be. It would be apparent the second I shook your hand. Okay, so I'm going to walk up to you based on the way you, you dress before I ever knew you were a doctor. Okay, instantly I would say you're an SC. Instantly. Because you show a lot of color, you have a lot of vibrancy, you come from a space of the heart. Okay, your D came out in the circle when you were talking to the neurosurgeon. Because you instantly had to bring up, I'm a doctor too. You threw in your credibility, mm -hmm. I leaned over and said it to Arsh. Mm -hmm. So that you instantly had to interject, this is who I am. Edification, right? That's the D. So what I am saying, as far as the generalization of it, I understood your profile. I threw the D in because of that, that situation. A lot of doctors, a lot, I'm generalizing, will be a very strong D, but they have S in them. We have all four in us, okay? It's your congruency, it's the why that drives your personality in it. A lot of financial advisors, high Ds, high Is. However, your financial advisors that came into that profession who lost money or had a spouse die and they want to make sure that nobody else lives the pain that they lived, their S's. So let's talk about the ecology and personality profiling. Okay? Close your eyes. Do a visualization exercise with me. Once you see it, hear it, feel it. Vision an old lady 
pushing a cart, going to the grocery store. With a tattoo on her leg, that's me in 30 years, by the way. <laughs> oh. stop laughing. <laughs> I was 20 when I did it. So, she's got this cart, right? The cart's balancing her, correct? She's 70 years old. She's holding it, kind of leaning on it. It's helping her walk. It's her balance. It's her momentum. Can I open your eyes? You guys see it here and feel it? So, I ask people, carry your cart with you everywhere you go. Your cart. C is congruency. It's an acronym. You see, as your congruency, this is the why. This is what's driving you to step into wanting to engage in a relationship with somebody. Your A, this is your authenticity. Remove the mask. Take the mask off when you approach somebody. Because you know what? No matter how hard you try, your mask is going to fall off one day, and that real you is going to be there, and that person that you engaged with that person that you invested or spent time building a relationship with is going to wake up and go, who the hell are you? Where'd you come from? Well, this is me. I'm finally comfortable to show you the real me. Well, I don't like you. I like the other person. So I invite you to take your mask, your mask off. Get very, very comfortable with who you are. Do that mirror exercise, I'm telling you. Your arm. This is the reciprocation. This is the reciprocity. What do you have to offer to the relationship? Okay? Get out of analog. Analog radio is W-I-I-F-M. What's in it for me? I invite you to go digital. W-I-I-F-T. What's in it for them? Okay? This is the R part of CART. Step into a relationship fully engaged and ready to reciprocate. T. Transparency. The Popeye mantra. I am what I am. Good, 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 good. <laughs> <Eat your spinach. laughs> you gotta be transparent. Okay? No hidden agenda. It doesn't matter if I have my hands behind my back. I am not hiding anything from you. So if you approach a relationship completely in tuned with who you are, you're carrying your cart, and you're approaching them. And reality is, yes, you have to make some speculation. Absolutely. You have to, by the way they walk, by the way they talk, by how they engage, by how they dress, you're speculating a little bit. The beauty of it is, as the relationship is cultivated, you have a better understanding, an even greater understanding of who they are. Okay? This is just an initial perception so that you can attempt to speak in a language that they can understand.